being here. Thank you for coming. It is wonderful to have you both on the show. And I don't know who's more excited, the audience, me, them, but I, my hunch is that it's you, yeah. Zach Braff, because it is not an exaggeration to I'm say that just, sorry. you were <laughs> obsessed with Dear Evan Hansen, the musical that I Ben was. Platt started. I'm trying to... How many times did you see it? I saw the show four times. Wow. And I'm such a big fan. I mean, when they told me that Ben was going to be on the show, I, I got nervous. I, oh. I, 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 genuinely, I genuinely love him and think he is a very, very, very talented man. Oh, my what God. Was... What was the experience like for you watching it the first time? The first time I went... I, for those of you who don't know, it's a very, very emotional show, and his performance was outstanding. At, at, at the intermission break, it's, it's a very emotional end yes. to the act. And I was alone, because I could, it was such a hot show, I could only get one ticket. And I'm sitting there, and I'm, like, crying. And I see... And sitting in front of me was Eric McCormick from Will & Grace. And I know him as an acquaintance, and he's looking at me, and I'm crying. And I said, Eric, I, I, I came alone. Would you mind giving me a hug? Oh. And Eric and I stood up in the aisle and held each other. Oh. To Ben Platt's sad, sad musical. <laughs> <laughs> ben, were you aware of this Zach Braff love? You know, I was. There was a bit of a courtship that, that went down. <laughs> um, what happened? I well, slid into his DMs. He did. <laughs> Did you not go backstage? I did, but I wanted more Ben. I was like, can we go, can we, can we do things together? Can we hang out? <laughs> and I sort of had to play, like, hard to get a little bit because I, while I was doing the show, I was living kind of a monkish lifestyle. Yeah. I wasn't able to really go out and drink or anything. And Zach, every so often, very kindly would be like, you know, I'm, like, out near the theaters, like, having a post-show drink if you want to <laughs> come hang out. And I was just had to always say no. But oh, That's be, weird, because when be like... I saw the show, we went for a drink after. I should go. Um... <laughs> I mean, I, we went for quite a long time. Oh, I remember come on. saying to James, you, that's not even funny. I remember saying, Are you sure this is fine with your voice? You said, I won't drink, I just want to be out <laughs> with you. With you. Uh, right. And then I gargled whiskey and screamed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you worry that you were coming on too strong? I did. I did. I thought that he might think I was hitting on him or something, and I was. I, I was, was only the... marginally disappointed that that wasn't the case. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, I'm straight, I just want to be with you. <laughs> Uh, if I had a nickel for every time I heard that, let me tell you. Story and he'd be like, life. I can't, my, my, my voice. And I'd be like, what about tomorrow? <laughs> what about between shows on Wednesday? Yeah, what are you doing for lunch on Wednesday? Tomorrow has arrived. <laughs> Here we are.